Welcome. Hi. Thanks for coming down today. Thank you. Okay, so tell me, Alexander Jane, when did you first start getting into music? When I was very young, I always knew I wanted to be a singer. Um, but I didn't know I could write songs until I was about 11, 12, when I started to teach myself the piano. So that's when I first started to write music. So you didn't study learning how to play the piano? No, I'm a self-taught musician. Okay, well, that's interesting. Thank you. You've seen a lot of those around. <laughs> um, so which musical icon do you admire the most? I think Brian McKnight, for me, is a really big influence. Um, he's a great songwriter, mm -hmm. fantastic performer, beautiful vocalist, and a, a very aspiring. I think he's a, a brilliant songwriter, so he's always been a big icon for me. Okay, so what kind of songs do you write about? Um, most of my songs are kind of from experience, life experience, from love, you know, from just life, things that happen to you generally in life. So, and they're kind of piano-based songs, and then I build the production around them. Okay, you recently performed at the Jazz Cafe. That's Could you right. tell me a bit more about that? That was brilliant. I was recording on a gospel album mm -hmm. called Soul Deep, and I was invited to go down to the Jazz Cafe for a, a launch party, a launch gig, and it was fantastic. It was packed, loads of people in there, and it was a great vibe. And I work with Justin Brown and Lizzie Dean and other fantastic songwriters, so it's a great experience. That's good. So what would you say is your style of music? I would say it's kind of soul, piano-based, rock, pop, maybe a little bit of R&B flavours in it. Kind of Alicia Keys sort of thing. Christina Aguilera. Yeah. Type vibe. Okay. So what do you think of um, pop um, shows like Pop Idol? And, and bands like um, One Two Voice and PSA? I don't know, I think they're good if you're a 16 year old and you've got a great voice. I think it's great exposure. But if you're a songwriter, I don't think it's a, a good route to take. I have a lot of people always saying to me, oh, you should be on Pop Idol. But that's not really what I want to do because I'm a songwriter and I want to be recognised for that rather than just a singer. So, did you, do you ever try out for? Academy then, because I yeah, I did actually. I auditioned for Fame Academy, but I didn't get in, so I don't know. So where did you get to in, in the heats? I just the second round, and that was it. Oh, that's shame. Okay. Yeah, but you know, there was a lot of very pretentious kind of people in there, and <laughs> they were very harsh. The judges were a bit harsh in there, and people a bit rude about making comments about them, about their weight and appearance and things like that. So I wasn't really feeling it, and I just said, well, never mind. So what just carried on writing songs and doing my thing. Okay. So what, what do you think of Simon Cowden? Because he's always insulting <laughs> people. I think he's a bit rude, but I think he's quite fair with the comments that he says. He's normally right, actually. If somebody's rubbish, they're rubbish. If they're good, then you know he will recognise that and he will say, yeah, you've got a good voice, you've got talent there. But I don't know. Uh, I don't know if I'd like to meet him. He's a bit scary. <laughs> So, so what's going to be your next project, or what would you hope is going to be your next project? I'm hoping to get signed really soon, because I've had so many songs recorded now. I've got an album's worth of material, so I'm hoping to get signed now. Okay. Well, thank you for allowing... Um, so what do you think of, of um, TV programs like Pop Idol and, and groups like Hearsay and One Two Voice? I think they're really good, but I don't think they last very long. Um, I think it's good if you're young and you want some exposure and experience. I think it's great for people like that. But if you don't actually songwrite, well, I mean, I'm a songwriter and I prefer to go on something more exciting like Fame Academy, really. Did you, did you try out for um, Fame Academy? Yeah, I did, but I didn't get on. So, so what heats did you get to? I just got round to the second round, but I didn't really, I didn't really like it anyway. Okay. Well, thank you for allowing Five Eyes Dot TV profiles for interviewing me today. Um, you're welcome. I want to wish you all the best for new up and coming projects. Thank you. Thanks. And take care. Thank you. You no longer need me, baby. By your side, where can I run? Whoa. Where can I hide? Are you ready? How's that? That sounds alright. Okay. <clears throat> let me just let me just pad it in. Um, oh, oh. And then it goes. Where can I run to? Yeah, but can you count bars in your head while you're doing that? 
leading up to, to that bit. Or are you just going to watch it through the, the screen? I'll watch it. Uh, I have a feeling, see, I've got missing. <laughs>
Strong.